I guess let's just start out with the whole process of getting here, man. The phone call comes in, and uh, what's the thought process before you accept the fight? Yeah, I mean, uh, literally the night before, my coach gave me a heads up, like, uh, hey, hey, there might be a possibility that you might call you replace uh, Matt Brown for this fight. What do you think about it? I was like, well, I was doing everything Matt Brown was doing in training, so if I have to replace him, I feel great. I mean, I, I feel in shape. I feel like I, uh, Kelvin Gaston is a good point for me. I, I can do it. So literally the next day, leaving the gym, I get a call from Joe Silva, like, hey, uh, I know it's so you can have a uh, training camp for your next fight, but can you fight in two weeks? I was like, yeah, sure, put it together, let's do it. <laughs> was the opportunity to headline, did that, did that mean something that factor in at all, or was it just the fight itself? Yeah, I mean, headlining for sure, we just added a little more to it, but uh, this, every opportunity to compete for me is great. I mean, I know one day's going to come where I want to compete and I can't do it, so if I can stay active and stay busy, now, I'll take full advantage of it and keep doing it. Let's let Emilio translate. So Neil, when did you find out that Matt was hurt? Were you at the practice where he was hurt? Yeah, we was, uh, we was training. He was going with me at the time, but uh, he was going with someone else. And uh, when it first happened, it was kind of like, oh crap, that's, that's going to suck. So uh, the next day they got him in, got the doctors to check him out right away. And then uh, they got the results on Monday. So Monday leading up to the fighters, and they found out and made the call to pull the fight because of how bad the injury was. So it's been five fights in 2014, five fights now in 2015. How is it to me like the, the the other Iron Man in the UFC? It's you and Cabo Cerrone. How does it feel? Oh man, it feels great. I just thank God for all these opportunities. I mean, uh, just being able to compete and do day in the day out, I'm just super grateful for it. And I just hope it keeps coming this way. Kelvin, a very strong opponent with great wrestling, always comes forward. Uh, kind of awkward because he's left handed. I know you were training with Matt Brown, but what does, what challenge does Kelvin present? Uh, he's a uh, Kelvin Gas is definitely a tough opponent. I mean, he's a, he's a great wrestler. He comes forward every time. He doesn't quit in the fights. So uh, it's definitely a tough fight. But I train with guys who are Division One wrestlers every single day of the week. So it's not anything new for me. I mean, uh, one thing my coaches do is train me to my my best of my abilities, not to an opponent. So uh, don't find Kelvin Gasson now. It's, I don't think it's going to change much for me at all. Just go out there and do my thing. Are you hoping that this is the moment you finally get the recognition for what you've put together over the last two years, or does public recognition even even matter to you? Yeah, I mean, that's something, honestly, that doesn't matter. I mean, a lot of times I, I feel like I get ahead of myself and I start thinking too far ahead in the future, like I did with my uh, David Maia fight. I was like, oh, sweet, on eight fights in a row, here we go, I made it now, and I end up losing that fight, and I kind of, everything slips away for a little bit at that point. So uh, right now I'm just focused on what's in front of me, and whatever happens at the end of it, I'll be able to embrace and take on. What do you think the key has been? I mean, this seems like a time when fighters are battling injury and losing main events and co-main events all the time. Here, you're the exact opposite of that. You're the guy that's fighting five times a year. What's, what's the key to your success that other fighters aren't getting? Um, I think the biggest thing is staying active, not necessarily fighting four or five times a year, but just staying in the gym and staying busy. I mean, my coaches do a good job of uh, telling me when to go, telling me when to pull back, and they're, just, they're constantly keeping me just doing something in the gym, not necessarily taking a, uh, four months off or whatever else, maybe gaining 40 pounds and then trying to lose all that weight and then get back down to uh, fight shape. What's the move like now at Elevation Fighting with all the fighters that are coming? Matt Brown moving there full time, TJ Dila show, Clay Gira. How's the move now in the team? It's great. I mean, having these guys come in, I mean, I feel like they're, those guys are leaders of the sport and they don't hold anything back. I mean, is there anything that Matt Brown can share with me to make me a better fighter? He doesn't bite his tongue, just goes out there and throw, uh, gives it to me. And same thing with Clay Guida and TJ Dila shot. Like, they're, it's almost like having extra coaches in the room, having those guys there. I mean, they have so much knowledge, so much experience, and they share it with all the other guys there.